we're going to go ahead and do a, a German trim on this standard poodle. So I'm going to start with shaving up his feet with a 30 blade. His pads have already been done. And the way that I like to figure out how to set the foot is I pick it up and with the 30, and I've got this set at a 30 on the five and one, I'm gonna bring it up just above the back, the top pad on his foot. And on a standard poodle, it's gonna be higher than a dog with a smaller foot, but I probably do it about two fingers width up from the top pad up. And then that sets my line to go all the way around at the, the bottom of the ankle bone on this foot. So I've already set that line and I'm just gonna set it in so it's easy for me to see going with the grain. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start at the nail bed and start working my way back up to that line. And the idea is we wanna get these as clean as possible. We don't want any hairs hanging off. So I'm pushing up the webbing on his, in between his toes so that it's a little bit easier to get all of those hairs in between there. And I just lay the clippers right on the toenails and let it grab anything that's going over them. On some dogs, I'll just go ahead and do a 40. This owner said that she likes to use a 30, so that's what we're doing. And if it were a white dog, I would probably start with a 10 or 15 and see how, how they could handle that before trying to move up to something shorter. Poodle feet are a little bit time consuming, but they look so nice afterwards. So again, pushing up that webbing so it's easy to get to those longer hairs. And then just to get around the nail beds, I'm gonna turn it to a 40. And you can actually lay it on the nail and go backwards. And that's going to grab any of those little hairs that you couldn't get when you were going in the direction of the nails. And I always like to put them down and just see if anything's changed, if anything started poking out and I can just fix it by picking it back up after I've checked. Because sometimes when it just changes after they're actually standing, you might see something that you didn't see when you had the foot in your hand. And then I'm just gonna neaten up this line so it's perfectly straight all the way around the foot. I'm going to go back in and get around the toes on that other one. And this is a really good trick to not have to really dig in there. Just kind of gliding over the nail bed is getting all of those little teeny tiny hairs that it couldn't grab earlier.
And that was with the 40, changing it back to a 30 just to neaten up that line, make it nice and straight. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to set in my line right above that top pad. Another little trick you could do is while you're picking up the foot, you could get in between the toes a little bit while you've got it up. So you have a little bit less to do when you're picking it up and doing the front. Now I'm gonna follow that line all the way around and just set it for myself just so it's easy for me to see. And then go back in and reverse and start getting all the hair off. Get them nice and neat and smooth. You have to be very careful around the bottom of the webbing because it's a thin flap of skin there. So you wanna make sure that your clippers don't catch that. So I like to go in a scooping motion from either side. Now I think I've gotten everything around the actual foot. So I'm just gonna put it down, make sure nothing sticks out. And I see a little bit. And then I'm gonna switch it to that 40 blade and just get right around those toenails again. And these little clippers are just great for doing this kind of stuff because you don't want to have these big old clippers trying to get in between toes. So these little guys are nice and lightweight. They really make it a little bit easier getting in all these little funny angles. putting them down to look at them from another angle see if there's anything popping out I'm 
just checking and making sure my line is straight before I move on to the next one. I'm just going to turn them around. Here, buddy. Turn. Turn. Yeah, all right. Okay. You're okay. Good boy. This is Gunner. He's a very handsome boy. And it's just the same thing over and over four times. Set in my line from the back, follow it all the way around the foot. So it's a neat straight line. And then go back in and start getting everything off that you can. Do you have a question? I, I'm just watching you do the feet. Uh, I, I worked in a salon where the one lady wouldn't let, wouldn't let any of us do, do the feet. She didn't. Oh, so now okay. I'm on my own. I'm doing them and you're doing it so quickly. It's uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm so slow. <laughs> but right now I'm using a 30 blade and I'm oh, okay. just, I'm holding from underneath. I'm holding my finger inside the webbing to push it up. Mm -hmm. and. I'm just getting the bulk of it right now off in reverse. And you're using a 30, okay. Yep, this is on a 30 setting. And then when I've gotten most of it off. Feet with this, 30 also? this is a 30 on the wow. top right now, yeah. And then I'm gonna switch it to a 40 and go reverse into the toes to get all of the hair around the toes off. So I'm just laying it right on the nail and pushing it backwards into the bed. And that's going to get all of those little tiny hairs off okay. around the nail bed. I don't do it that way. I have four on and I have those little hairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his mom takes very good care of him. 